Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Uh, today is my solo camp out. Yesterday, Monkey and I camped out together for Valentine's. I know it's early, but it's what we could get, so we decided to go early. So, I had to go home, get some movies in case, you know, I get pinned down because of weather. Right now, it's beautiful though, sun's out. Looks nice. But, uh, so I wanted to get some movies, to have some movies to watch in case I wanted to do that later on tonight. But, we're going to do a couple things, kind of a couple reviews, and, um, then we may do some fishing. Uh, we just have to see. But first, um, the intro, and we'll get into the first review thing. Stick around, guys. should be fun. Okay, guys. So the first review thing she got us from Timu, this little solar panel, enough to charge up some small stuff. And I can see already, I just brought it out of the tent, and it's already lit up. So let's plug this into my phone, see if it'll, if it'll start charging my phone. Okay, so first of all, sorry about the wind. It's very windy. It was windy yesterday and raining all day yesterday. And then the rain stopped evening time. About dark, it stopped, but it stayed windy all night and it's still windy. I brought my drone. I was going to put it up, but it is very, very windy. So... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put my drone up or not, but let's put, let's plug this in here. Like that. Light is lit. There's a fair amount of sun there. Okay, so let's plug this in and see if my phone is charging. Okay, so right up there in the corner is the little battery thing. All right, let's plug this in. And it's charging. All right, what are we on here? We are at 77%. Let's give it, say, I don't know, um... It's 147 right now. Let's give it five minutes. And then uh, it's a 77 now, and then we'll we'll come back in five minutes and see uh, see how well it's charging. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see it. It's been about seven minutes. Let's see what we got here. 80%. So it is charging. So I'm just going to let it charge for a little bit. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see that, but the sun has moved away. So we're going to move this over here into some more sunlight. There we go. This we're going to be trying out later this evening I want to do it before it gets dark but I'll open it up now monkey got this on Timu because we bought one from Amazon and it came damaged I probably could have straightened it out but uh, I sent it back and we got a refund because it's a matter of principle when I buy something new and it was like 30 bucks I don't know what she gave for this one but it wasn't 30 bucks but matter of principle you shouldn't have to fix something you know that uh, that's brand new you shouldn't have to take it home and fix it so our little she got us another little wood stove so we're going to use this tonight yeah our little grate goes on top or a little fire ember catcher this stuff I'm gonna to have to peel all off so I'm gonna do that now 
then we might go hit the river and see if we can catch something so I'll get this stuff peeled off I'll be back with you okay guys so there it is I got 99% of that blue stuff off of there a lot of guys complain about it takes so long to take it off but what that is that's just um that's for tooling that's stainless steel so when you get stainless steel this is all stamped out you know it stamps stamps all the holes and stuff that's just to keep it from getting um all scratched up and stuff when it's going through the machines and being put together and everything that stuff will burn off there as soon as you light a fire and it. it's not a big deal so my phone's charging well all right so let me see I got this stuff up here this wood I'm going to I'll be uh, batoning that up for this because this is what we're going to cook on tonight. I brought some a little thing of sausage and some noodles from Noor. And uh, they're pretty good. I've got some butter for that. So, but that's going to be a little bit later. Uh, still, I, I want to put the drone up, but it's just too windy. So, uh, maybe I'll get my fishing gear ready and we'll get down. We'll get out to the river and do a little fishing. So, I was moving my solar panel more into the sun. I found this Canadian penny just sitting right there. Most of you guys know, but if you don't, monkey's actually Canadian. 1961. I'm gonna give that to her. Cool. All right, guys, we're down here at the river. We camped here a couple years ago. I had my hammock right here from this, this pole here, right over to that beech tree there. And uh, her birch tree, whatever. And uh, we parked the boat right here. Right there's the boat. So, again, sorry for the wind, guys. Can't help it much, but... Brought a little bit of bait. I didn't bring my tackle box. We're just right up there. Just right over that way. In fact, we started a fire up there that one night. Whoa. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get my line in the water and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna baton a couple pieces of this wood with this Ozark Trail outdoor equipment. Knife, came from Walmart a couple years ago. Monkey's mom got me a package of stuff. It had this knife, it had some paracord, had a machete, it had a flashlight and a little hatchet in it. And I have not sharpened this since I've had it, and I've had it a couple years. I've done some batoning with it last night. So let's go ahead and do some batoning right now. Because everybody says these knives aren't worth a crap, but I'm telling you what, I'm kind of impressed with it. Granted, I'm not batoning oak or anything like that, but that's okay. I mean, it does just fine, especially for batoning wood for that little stove over there. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'm going to baton some of this up. You know, it's not, it's still early yet. 
it's not even 230 it's 224 so I'm just gonna do a few of these up so that way when we cook our dinner we'll have plenty of wood to cook our dinner with I do I did bring some fire starters I'm kind of impressed with that I mean still sharp pretty nice I don't know what that was yeah, because he sucked his old man this guy is nuts, man. Check him out. He's been walking past here, going crazy. Weird. Some people. All right, guys. I'm gonna baton some of this up. Give me a nice little pile, a pile for a little stew. Figure out what we're gonna do next. Oh yeah, uh, fishing. A couple bites, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's just too windy to fish right now. So um, the solar's still charging my phone. So all right, guys, and it's not in direct sunlight anymore. So, but it's 85%, so that's pretty good. I mean, in an emergency, if you need it, you know, you got it. And there we go. This is to start the fire for later. We're just going to have a, you know, a campfire. And this stuff is for the stove to cook on. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty hard, and that knife went through it just fine. Might be oak. It's really, really hard. I know it's not pine. But, yeah, so, good to go. Hopefully the wind will calm down for this evening. And, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll have a little campfire tonight. Okay, guys, so, I thought we'd take a little walk down here this little stream. It was running really good yesterday. It's usually dried up, but, like I said, yesterday with all the rain, well, green for a couple days. Thought we'd come down here, see if there's any water running in it. And, uh, just kind of take a little walk down the road here. Turned out to be a beautiful day today. But these were the only two days that were open. But we went clear up through here last night looking for a spot and wasn't a single soul out there but it's saying it's all booked up huh. so i don't know how it can be booked up but but it is apparently yeah we'll just take a walk up here creek's not that far so Maybe we'll see some wildlife. Saw that gator. That was pretty cool over there sunning itself on the bank. Here, I'll show you some of the wild or some of the miniature swamp there <laughs> right up here on the right is the stream it's like a little brook that runs through there like I said it was monkey said it was uh, said it was running pretty good this morning but it was really running last night well, yesterday evening I should say wasn't quite dark yet a uh, little longer walk than I thought <coughs> oh, 
excuse me. Pretty through here, isn't it? Okay, here's the stream. There's water in it, but it's not running. It was running yesterday. Monkey got some Timu stuff in the mail today. Pretty nice, huh? It's beautiful out here. But, yeah, so I figure she's, she says she come out after supper. Um, visit for a little bit. She, uh, she's got a, it says it's a, it's a, a screen for camping and stuff or I guess for your, uh, for your little projector. <laughs> so she's waiting on it to come. She's hoping it'd come yesterday and then she's hoping it'd come today, but it didn't come today. But she said, I got you something else. I want you to open it before you leave. She got me one of them blue mats. <clears throat> it's a silicon mat and it's got little compartments in it that you can put screws in and stuff. It's for working on like little electronics and stuff and soldering stations. So I've been wanting one for a while, but all the ones I could find on Amazon, the cheapest ones, was like 30 bucks. She got that one on Timu for, I think she said $5 or something. <laughs> I was like, cool. All right. We'll walk back up here. And I'll check my heart rate. And I'll kick you back on, guys. Not too bad. 125 which it's about right for me, 126. All right, well, so, monkey said, well, at least there's people out here. She makes her feel more comfortable if I'm by people in case something happens. Like, you know, uh, health issues or if I get hurt or something. So she feels more comfortable leaving me here. <laughs> Except for when I'm back there all by myself, she don't really like that, but I don't mind it. Except for when I get sick and have to <laughs> leave camp early, but I'm feeling pretty good today, so. Uh, we might try, Monkey bought a new ghost box, so we might try, try the ghost box out tonight. See if we can see hear anything. Anyway, we'll do a review on it anyhow, right? So, yeah. <laughs> stick around more fun to come hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy these videos man because i really enjoy getting out here and filming not just for you guys but for me too you know it's a lot of fun been in the woods since i was 10 years old so 45 years i've been in the woods and yeah it's awesome you know if you can't get out and do this yourself hopefully you can do it vicar vicariously through Monkey and I on our little adventures. So, we've got more racetrack adventures coming up. Um, what else? Of course, we got more camping things. Next thing, hopefully, will be uh, Fort Cooper. Now, we've never been there. There's, there's nothing left of the fort, really, now. So, but... I got some information on it about Fort Cooper and what happened there. And um, there was a, a lot of bad things went on. It was during the Second Seminole War. And um, yeah, so like I said, they, you know, they passed right through our properties, man. Um, so yeah, and, and this, this, these woods here are supposed to be haunted. But I know that it just becomes magical after dark, getting later at night. It's just kind of a magical place here. It is in the daytime too, but at night it's it's really neat. You know, the, the different sounds you hear and you know, being on the river. This used to be a working river. The Seminoles used it. And 
so like I said there's a midden mound you know half a mile that way so I've showed you guys that in the past well there's a couple of them up through there you can't go digging in it but what it is is just like if you dig through there it's kind of like what they used as a dump back in the day you know like when they're pottery or whatever mostly like shells clam shells and stuff like that because uh, they ate a lot of that out of this river and uh, but yeah it's pretty cool a pretty big one back there i showed you guys once but there's a couple back through there but yeah the uh seminoles they they were they were around this area a lot a lot of a lot of things happened here but uh those are stories for later and i like i said i got a story time for you guys tonight that's a true story that hap happened to me and um i know it's going to sound a little out there but you guys know me if if i'm going to make something up i'm going to tell you that story was fabricated or whatever but this this story is not fabricated it really happened and it happened about oh let's see 11 12 years ago Yeah, yeah. Between 11 and 13 years ago, it was about probably 2012, I think it was. So, yeah, I'm seeing some mosquitoes come out. Man, it's crazy. This wind is nuts, and look at these mosquitoes flying around me. That's okay because I got my off spray, and I also have my um, thermocell. So, all right, guys, stick around. We'll do some more chit chat, and we'll have some fun. This Farmer John's, I think, in my opinion, is the best sausage you could get. Like I said, just my opinion. I'll wash this plate off before we put any more food on it. Cross contamination. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's all right. Piece of pepper there. We got the owls hooting. All right. I'm gonna take my skillet over here. And get it hot. Can you see that? Yeah. Alright. Alright, now, once that gets hot, we're going to take the sausage over and we're going to put it on, let it cook, and then I'm going to boil some water up. Alright. Nice sizzle there. All right, I'm gonna go clean this plate and then I'll be back. These are cooking up nicely. Oh yeah. Very nice. Awesome. How's our fire doing? Pretty good. I'm gonna have to add some more wood in there for the uh, recording oh for the uh, to boil the water so this is what we're gonna have tonight we're gonna have um, this is nor pasta sides we're gonna have Alfredo fettuccine and creamy parmesan and Romano flavored cheese sauce with other natural flavor well what would that be anyway it calls for a half a cup of milk and I don't have one because I don't like bringing milk out in places like this so I'm just going to go with a cup and a half 
that's probably way too much um, but it'll boil down some we're gonna put our butter in and we got to bring this to a boil and then we're, we'll mix this in we let this boil for seven minutes and then take it off let it set for uh, two minutes and it'll be done okay sausage looks good I was going to eat, keep some of that beef stew here eat some of that and I thought well I had it last night and I thought I'm gonna send that home with monkey for her and her mom that's good stuff right there in fact let's just pour a little bit of that grease in there I'm gonna go put some more wood on that fire and then uh, I'm gonna put the water on boil here's what it looks like in the bag good stuff I love these things man they're easy to make you know bring them camping or whatnot somebody took a bite out of that one wasn't me okay guys I only had to let it cook six minutes but I did let it set for two I had to keep stirring it you know so it wouldn't um, nice so it wouldn't um, stick too bad and it didn't it's fine stuck a little bit but nothing major all right now we're going to go in the tent and eat because it is like super windy out here i want to pour some water in here i'm going to put that on the on the fire to warm up and then i'll let it soak so meet you guys in the tent all right guys there's our meal give it a shot i'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me eat this because i mean to me that would be pretty boring but first well i've already tasted the sausage and it tastes really good very nice love that sausage I haven't tried this one these noodles from Noor yet but we're about to try it like I said I don't like bringing milk out on camping trips you know <laughs> dairy and camping eh. gotta be careful with that right very good um Two thumbs up. That's hardy enough. I can eat it with my fork. I think she said she got them Publix or Winn Dixie this time, and they were like a dollar eighty. And she was getting them at one of the dollar stores for like a dollar twenty-five. And when she first started buying them at Win Dixie or Publix or wherever she gets them, they were a dollar twenty-five. They jacked the prices up. Unreal. All about the almighty dollar. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish this, and we'll see what else we're gonna do. Hmm. Not sure how I'm gonna. I got I got the projector projector screen back here, but I might be able to uh, put it right there on that wall tonight to watch my movies I don't know we'll just have to see but that's later that's after that's you know when it's winding down time I don't know if I'll do any night fishing yet or not but um, so let me go ahead and finish my supper and then we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do next all right guys so that that was really good that little bit of grease from the sausage that I put in them noodles you could actually taste it in the noodles I know I was eating sausage too but I could taste it in the flavoring of the noodles. That was pretty good. So, yeah, I recommend those little things. They got all kinds of broccoli and cheese. And uh, Monkey gets the rice. They're, they have different flavors of rice. So, uh, she gets that for her mom. Her and her mom. Uh, just made a big old mess over here. Had to clean up. That was full. Let's just say it's not full anymore. And for some reason it's flat. Hmm. That's okay. 
I think I got it. Um, my tummy's full. It's early. Four thirty. Well, I thought it was a little later than that, but let's see. Yeah, it's four thirty. Okay. Well, in that case. I think I may just take me a little nap. It'd be a while before Monkey comes out. Uh, so, I figure she'll eat with her mom. They're going to reheat that stew that I made last night. They're going to have it. and uh, So, I think she's going to come out. She says she's going to bring me a little more wood. Uh, I don't know about having a fire because it's so windy. And since this, even though it rained past couple days, except for today, that wind pretty much dried stuff out. Um, we might. We'll just have to see uh, how bad it is. If it's just breezy, I'll have a fire. But, you know, like last night it was windy, but everything was soaking wet. But it's pretty dry out here now. So, I don't like having a fire when it's real windy. But, um, we'll just have to see. So, alright guys. I am going to take me a nap. <laughs> uh, don't tell Monkey. Oh, hey, Monk. <laughs> she watching my videos. So, uh, yeah, can't trick her. All right, guys, I'll be back with you after my nap. <laughs> All right, guys. So the wind has died down significantly. It's a little bit after 6.30 now. So I did take a nap. <laughs> There we go. Some of this wood on here. And somebody right over here that came in when I went to the house, they had came in running generator I got a generator too but I don't bring it out here I got an inverter and battery power you know you run a stupid generator all night alright guys so get this fire going a little bit better And we'll get some real wood on it. I'll bring you back. Story time. So, about 2012, right in there, my dad was living with a woman. Her name was Sandy. And, uh, well, he lived with her until he died. Of course, this was after my mom passed away. And, uh, they lived way out in the boondocks, man. Like, I'll tell you where it was, Bloomfield, Bloomfield, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? Yeah, way out there. And way off the main route, just gravel road and then down a dirt trail into the, to their house. And, and well, she had 80 acres. She would let me hunt there and, you know, come out, pitch a tent, whatever. And uh, so I went out there to go scope out some turkey hunting places. And uh, so I went out there and talked to my, my dad, went in. He's getting some coffee and stuff. And, uh, he said, uh, are you coming out? Are you, you doing some hunting? Today? And I said, no, no. I said, uh, I'm just going to scope it out. I said, I'm not going to hunt until next week. I said, turkey season's not in until next week. I said, I'm going to come out a day or two next week. And he said, uh, where are you going? He said, you going up, uh, up in that patch of woods that you went last year and got that turkey? And I said, man, I don't know. I said, Dad, I said, 
I saw it. I'm thinking about scoping it out, but I said, man, every time I get in them woods, it doesn't feel right. I don't feel comfortable. It feels real eerie up there by this big oak tree. And like you, you came in like kind of through a small field. You went through a small field and you came in to the wood line by this big oak tree. And then there was a bunch of um, what we called thorn bushes, thorn trees, whatever. Thickets in through there. Perfect place for deer and, and turkey. I said, yeah, I said, I just, every time I get up in them woods, Dad, I, said, I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable, man. I said, if I, if I don't get something within 15, 20 minutes, I'm out of there, you know. He said, well, he said, look, Marty, if you, if you don't feel comfortable up there, you know, just don't, don't go up there. I said, yeah, but I said, I know, you know, I know the game's there. He was like, well, you know, okay, but yeah, if you don't feel comfortable, don't, don't go. I said, all right. So, I went out of the house and, uh. He said, I'll be out in a minute. And because we would always talk for a little bit before I went and did my thing. So he said, I'll be out in a minute. And uh, this was probably, I don't know. Let's see, it was spring season. So I didn't, okay, I didn't shoot that turkey the year before. I shot that turkey in fall season. Then it was coming into spring season. And so. Yeah, I went outside, grabbed a beer. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Went outside, grabbed a beer, and was sitting there. And Sandy came out. She said, "I heard you heard you talking to your your dad in there." She said, uh, "She said you don't like that patch of woods up there, huh?" I said, "No." I said, "Get an eerie feeling every time I'm up there, Sandy." I said, "I, I don't know what it is." She said, "Well." She said, if you go up there, sit by that oak tree where you shot that turkey last time. Sit, sit up there. And she said, sit down there and just be quiet for 20, 30 minutes. Really? <laughs> She's like, yeah, just, just do that. I said, all right, I'll do that. So dad come out and we talked for a few minutes. And, you know, I grabbed a couple beers and headed off on my little hike and, and, uh, I went up there and started as soon as I, I went into that wood line and, and came up that oak tree. Weird, you know, just, I don't know, just felt like somebody or something's watching, you know. I mean, this is broad daylight, you know. And so, I sat down. Sure enough, I heard... Here I am with no gun, you know. I just brought a couple beers to scope the place out. Sounded like it was getting closer. I thought, what the hell is that? It sounded like two feet, you know. So I sat there a little bit longer, and then I, I heard a... What the fuck was that? I'm sure we've all been in this situation where... Like we're in the same room and there's a you know, couple people and you know they're talking about you and you can hear them, but you can't hear what they're saying, kind of like murmured. That's what I heard. And that went off for, you know, I lit a cigarette and that went off for a good 10 minutes and kept getting closer. And I looked around, I didn't see anything, didn't see any squirrels. This sounded like somebody walking. And I, I thought maybe it was Dad and Sandy coming up to mess with me. I see, yeah, good one, guys. That was... was Real funny, didn't hear nothing. I heard them feet prints, footsteps again. And I heard one more time, I'm out of there, right? I'm out of there. So I come down, make my little hike back to the house. Dad and Sandy sitting out there, front yard in their lawn chairs, you know, having a good conversation, I walk over. Cause I always got my cooler out of the truck, sat it there. I grabbed a beer, and Dad's like, "Grab me one." And we, I said, "Yep." Grabbed a beer, handed him a beer. I sat down, opened the beer, and took a drink. I looked over at Sandy. And I said, "So, what do you think they're saying?" And she said, "I don't know." She said, "I've been up in there twice." Cause she she would go 
um, she hunted, but she would also go and try and find deer racks, you know, drop racks, we call them, that the deer would lose every year and they'd grow new ones, you know. She had a whole living room, like, they were hanging from the ceiling, pretty neat. So she would go up in there and she said, I'm telling you, Marty, she said, I, I, I was up in there twice, and both times it happened, she said, the second time, she said, I heard footprints or footsteps. I didn't tell her that. She said the second time. She said, I, I've never been back. She said, that probably been five, six years ago. And Dad looked at me and said, what the hell are you guys talking about? And she said, tell him. So I told him the story, how she told me to go up there and just sit down and wait a while. Because usually, like I said, when, when I'm up in them woods, I, you know, I get a couple of squirrel or I got my turkey and I'm out of there, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So, you know, that day I, I sat there for like 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes altogether, you know, when the time I started hearing. And yeah, she, I, that was funny because she said, I don't know. And then, but see, I didn't get to the part about the footsteps until, you know, she said the second time, she said, I heard footprints walking around, footsteps walking around. I got the hell out of there, and she said, I ain't been back. So, true story. No one's ever, I've, I've never told anyone that story. Because I know it's kind of outlandish, but she she heard him too several years before. And I always, but she heard me telling my dad. You know, she was in the other room. My dad was in the kitchen getting his coffee, and, and I... You know, like I said, when I was telling him she overheard that, she told me to sit up there. So, but, she, yeah, she heard the, uh, yeah, she, she heard the whispering, the murmuring voices, you know, like, it, it sounds like they're coming from behind you and you turn around, and then it sounds like they're coming from over here. It sounded kind of close, not like right up on you, but, you know, 15, 20 feet away, I mean, enough kind of like a low whisper but yeah that was uh that was strange so there's your story time true story and uh yeah so <laughs> i just get the story done you'll see some headlights shining on me here in just a second <laughs> just got the story done and there's monkey all right guys so i'm going to talk to monkey for a little bit but true story that's not fabricated in any way that really happened you know, because I wanted to see what she would say, you know, when I said, what do you think they're saying? She was like, I don't know. <laughs> but, and I didn't tell her about the footsteps. She told me about them after I had experienced it. But she told me nothing. She just told me to sit down there and, and be quiet for a little bit. So, all right, guys, there's your story time. So, uh, up oh, Bruno's here. All right, there's your story time, guys. Okay guys, we're in the tent, and we're going to try this S-Box out. I've never had one this style. It was 90 bucks on Ghost Stop. I bought a few things from them before a few years ago. User's manual. You got the extra for this. This is a, a Faraday pouch. It seems to work all right for this, but to me, a true Faraday pouch will block out cell phone. This will not block out a cell phone. Don't know why, but so I'm going to point you down here. Okay, we're going to turn this on. We're going to ask a few questions. This thing's pretty cool. It's got Bluetooth. Uh, here, let me. read you the features here automatic FM AM radio sweep uh, record and playback radio sweep uh, rechargeable battery and long life you can change the speed of your scan I always try to go as fast as I can uh, forward and reverse sweep direction uh, record and playback EVP audio that's pretty cool uh, amplified speaker and headphone port built in LED flashlight which is right here uh, 
connect device to USB as a wireless speaker so you can you know plug stuff into here and use it as a wireless speaker same way with Bluetooth and easy access to recorded audio okay I put a card in there but I don't think my cards right uh, hopefully it's not this thing but it just takes a micro USB um, micro SD card in it so let's turn this on it will talk to you And uh, there's your modes. Scanning AM. Line in. Bluetooth. Playback. Scanning FM. Okay, so I'm going to scan this. And I'm going to scan it backwards. Still scanning forwards. How did I do that before? Okay, I want it to scan backwards. Monkey did a video on it, and I'm just press scan to start and stop the sweep. To change sweep speed, press forward. To sweep faster, or yeah, to sweep faster or reverse. Press 11. Where's 11? Yeah, that's what I was doing. <clears throat> Okay, well, let's try this again. Xbox. Scanning. FM. To change sweep direction, the scan must be paused. Hold down reverse for two seconds. Okay. There it goes. Okay, it's scanning backwards now. I'm going to speed it up. It goes from one to four on the speeds. There's the speeds volumes up here on top I'm gonna put it in here because as you can hear it's picking up radio stations I don't like that I don't know if you guys can hear that Is there anybody out here in these woods with us right now? Let me turn it up a little bit. I just don't want to go too loud. I hate when them guys, <laughs> them ghost hunters and stuff, especially on YouTube, they got to have a full blast with a big speaker and stuff. But. I don't want to bother my neighbors either. Is there any spirits out here in the woods that would like to communicate with me? Is there any Bigfoots out in these woods? Guess nobody wants guess nobody wants to talk is there any spirits with me tonight in this tent Nobody wants to talk? 
Here to help you. Well, I guess nobody wants to talk tonight. Alright, we're going to go ahead and shut this off. I just wanted to try this out. I didn't want to do anything major with it. The monkey's been wanting these, one of these for a long time, especially for around the house. So, cool little lanyard. But, uh, so when I do a kind of a real investigation maybe on our house I don't know uh, I'll get more serious with it um, that way she can enjoy it too glad I remember to bring that because I forgot <laughs> I thought well I'm probably not going to need it but I forgot to how, how to go backwards but I like going backwards better too because if something comes through and let's say it says three syllables for instance um it's probably not a radio station you know what i mean but uh and that's why i like putting them in these so all right i gotta get a, another battery and you guys it's starting to get cold and i'm not too bad in here but the batteries aren't liking it so let me get your battery changed and i'm gonna set up uh i'm gonna watch a movie I think I'll shine it. I wanted to shine it on that wall over there. But there's more wrinkles in it than this wall. So probably, I don't know. <laughs> Let me get you, your guys' batteries changed. Battery changed. And, uh, did bring a camera. I have another night vision camera in there too. Let's take a couple pictures here and just see if we see anything. Always like to take three. Now let's reading memory card. All right. Nope. Don't see anything. All right. Let me get your battery changed. There we go. I like that it gives you a little preview window. This week sees the release of the new film, The Nun 2. But I think this is the one I'm going to watch here. Let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to watch. Scary stories. There's true scary stories. But it's Growing up in Jacksonville as a kid, I was living Florida. about a mile from Monk the and I National camped Park. in... Uh, being that the area Jacksonville. Is known as a historic monument, All right, I'm going to watch some of these. I got a little buddy heater going over there just to try it out. I'm not cold, but I turned it on less than five minutes ago and I can feel the heat. So there's another story about that, but I get into it some other time. I had night terrors. So I keep forgetting you can put this on a tripod. I had it on the table, but there we go. 
cool. Somebody's jamming. But, yeah, I keep forgetting about that. You put it right on the tripod. Awesome. What's going on out there? Jesus. Okay, that's pretty ignorant. So I had to shut the little buddy heater off because it got too hot in here. All right, back to my show. That's better. It was on 4.3 instead of 16.9 aspect ratio. Much better. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. Made it through another night. That new tent did good. It did very well. Um, got pretty chilly last night, but I was fine in there. Um, of course, the inside of the tent still want to get cold, but it wasn't nowhere near as chilly as it was outside. But I was fine. I put a... Uh, I had my mat down, and then I put a... Uh, a blanket over top of my mat then my sleeping bag and I got my sleeping bag and then put the rest of the blanket over top of me and I was warm all night long that heater <laughs> that little buddy heater man 15 minutes I had to shut it off 10 or 15 minutes I had to shut it off it really heats that tent up nice in there um, <clears throat> they tell you not to run heat in there because of condensation but there wasn't any condensation in it. So I came out last night. Well, actually this morning, about three o'clock this morning, came out. There were still a little, couple little flames there. So I threw a couple logs on, sat out here for a little while. It's about a quarter till 10 right now. Uh, I've been up for about an hour and a half, just laying in the tent and kicking it. Came out, threw some wood on the fire. Kind of hanging out, waiting on Monkey to get here. Uh, I'm not even worried about. You're supposed to be out here at 11. I ain't even worried about that anymore. You know, I mean, they say this place is book. People book it all the time just so they can get the gate code to go back in there and go for a walk or something. I'm not. I'm not worried about being out of here at 11. So. Or that tent would already be down. Cause it's like, uh, let me see. It's about 10 to 10 right now. So, but yeah, I like it so far. Um, held up good in the wind. Had some big gusts of wind. Held up great. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, it turned out to be a. Nice night last night, man. The stars were beautiful. Couldn't really get them on the on the camera because of the trees, but through the trees, just like between every branch was a star. It was so beautiful last night. And uh, yeah, when Monkey was here, she was like, "Oh, look at all the stars." <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit by the fire and uh, just kick it. Had a couple snacks last night. Watched my movies. So my battery lasted, I don't know, until about 1.30, 2 o'clock, somewhere in there. I got four, uh, four, almost four movies out of it last night. Uh, but they were only like, well, one was an hour, the other ones were like 50 minutes. But Monday night, you know, I watched I watched one. So it's good for about four or five full movies. That projector with the inverter and just that one deep cycle battery. So that's pretty good. Give you something to watch or whatever. You got to be in there during a rainstorm or something. And you can put music on that thing if you want. And, uh, well, you know, on your memory card and it'll play music and stuff. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'll be back with you. Uh, I'll kick you back on monkey gets here or if I decide to do something different, my fire fell over. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back. Hang tight. This is too cool.
Eight horses. And a painted horse there. Cool. Good day for a horse ride. <laughs> Not quite wildlife, but still pretty wild, huh? <laughs> so I was standing over there and I looked. I was just looking around. And some of you guys already know, but the ones that don't, this all used to be orange fields and stuff through here. Citrus citrus groves and stuff. But uh let's check it out. I don't think I've seen it now. It's February. I'm gonna try one. That that tree's producing very well. Huh. Cool. Oh, look, that's over here. What kind of them on that, on that limb? Cool, guys. Still waiting on monkey. It's about 12.30. River's right through there. <clears throat> Surprised there's not a path worn down for people to walk down here and go fishing. But, yeah, I told Monkey last night, she had a couple things to do today. She was like, well, I can come get you, or I can go do them in the morning. I can come get you later. I said, I don't care. <laughs> Take your time. So, on my phone over there, well, the the uh, solar panel charging my phone. Been over there about a half an hour. It was on 14%. It gives me a low battery warning at 15%. It was at 14%. It's been over there about 30 minutes it's already, 41%. So that little thing's working. I mean, for what it is, it was cheap. I forget what she gave for it, but it was cheap. So, I mean, you know, that's plenty enough time to get out an SOS <laughs> if you needed to. But I'm all packed up, as you can see. Just waiting on this to burn out because, well, Monkey's not here yet, or I would just put it out. <laughs> but I'll wait until she gets back. I don't know. She might want to sit here for a few minutes. She might want to do some fishing. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'm not done quite yet. Stick around, guys. Well, let's try to eat this. See what it tastes like. It is February, so it's probably not going to be real good. But I'm going to... Oh, it smells good. Ooh. Wow, look at that. It's tiny, but let's give it a try here. I don't have it on the stand. But... Seed. Mmm. Sweet and sour. Man, that's good. I'm going to pick me four or five of them and take home. That monkey will want some too, so maybe six or seven. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more though. <laughs> Stick around, guys. More fun to come, I think. <laughs> that thing was good. I am gonna get some more. Fun fact though if you uh, are out camping or in your backyard, you have a campfire going, uh, got some oranges, lemons, limes. Take the peels, throw them in your fire, keep the mosquitoes away. I mean, keeps them at bay. I mean, nothing keeps a mosquito completely away from you, but it helps helps a lot. So that's good to know. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get a couple more. I'm gonna get some for Monkey. She loves them things. Okay, so Monkey made it. Um, it is. 1242 but that's okay because what happened mama let's send my mom back to the hospital so i have to get there yeah so, so 
Yep, she's back and doing what she's did before. Like so AFib or something? I think it is her AFib, and I think she's not drinking the water she needs to either. So it's a good thing you were home. Well, I don't think it would happen, but I had given her a shower, and she did this again. So I think if she didn't have the shower, I think it's the way she moves her head, because she keeps her yeah, head down. I know. She can't breathe. She's cutting off her oxygen. Her oxygen went down to 80. She's got me. throat issues anyway. Right, and she says, well, my neck hurts. I said, well, you need to do some neck exercises for your neck. Because she says she's always doing this, trying to yeah. hold it up. And um, so I think this time I'm not bringing her home. I, th I think I'm going to talk to him, see if I can get her back into clear sky where she was before. But it's only a 10-day thing. But I thought it, it was 14. I think, I think they can go up to 14. Yeah. So I have to drop you off and yeah. run as What's usual. What's this? Monkey got her hair done. Look at that. Yeah, I got my hair done. Hot, sexy. The only thing is, yeah, you got to hide them. Well, the thing is with that is you put your ponytail through it yeah. and then you pull it up. Pull it up? Yeah. So what the hell? Am I supposed to cut it? I but then know. I don't want to cut it, so I don't know. Anyway, it looks nice. Look cute. Yeah. Something different. Yeah. So we're all packed up, except for that. And uh, yeah. I'm going to throw some water on that fire. There you go. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. And I can put it on my side. My mother wants one. Yeah. They have them in gray, so yeah. I was going to get her one. That matches pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad. And I get the sun on my hair again, it'll go lighter. Yeah. yeah. Very so. nice. Okay, guys, so. You got everything? Seen eight horses going past here. Really? Yeah, I got them on video oh, for you. Oh, cool. People riding them. One was a painted horse. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, neat. It had flames on him. That's. <laughs> Nobody was, you know, the spotted horse. Yes, yeah, painted horse. Okay, guys, I'm, I gotta go. Pain Thanks for watching. Ass. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys soon. Stop over, check Monkey's channel out, give her your thoughts and prayers. We appreciate it. Yep, here we go again. Yeah. Also, mm -hmm. who was it? Toby Keith? Who? Toby Keith passed away? Yeah, I heard Toby Keith. Yeah, yeah. Toby, Toby Keith passed away. What was he 61? 62. 62 of heart or stomach cancer so yeah, yeah. um isn't he the one that sang uh, courtesy of the red white and blue and that's sad I anyway yeah uh, about it yeah that's i mean he's 62 another, is still too young another icon gone you know but yeah. he'll live on i'll still listen to his songs oh yeah i've listened to a couple earlier on my phone so Keep his family in your prayers, and we'll see you guys in the next one. You stop else? putting the powder on the uh, on the table. That's evidence. <laughs> it's kind of well. Yeah. You should have seen the neighbors. They stopped over and talked to me, and one guy pulled out a straw, and I'm like, no! <laughs> Only kidding, guys. <laughs> no, he rolled up a ten dollar bill, and he was like, oh man, that, that's horrible. <laughs> I said, well, that's cornstarch. I remembered the name of it. Finally, <laughs> can't ever remember. Yeah. Not that name for whatever reason. I don't <laughs> no, know. I yeah. call it the white stuff, not flour, but the other stuff. She knows exactly what it All is. Right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Mark says she's out. Bye, y'all. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.